Hello everyone, and welcome back to DevWave Diaries. If you're looking to level up your web development skills, you're in the right place. Today, I'm going to show you how to create this card spotlight, hover animation, perfect for making your website more interactive. Let's get started. First we will create a div with the class name container. Inside this container, we'll add another div with the class name box. Next, within the box div, we'll place another div with the class name content. Inside this content div, we'll add an h1 tag, and you can choose any heading you like. For example, I'll use card2. After that, add ap tag, and inside it, we'll use some placeholder text. Like lorem30. Finally, inside the box div, we'll include a span tag. Now, copy and paste the box div two more times. You can do this easily by using shift plus alt plus down arrow key. Then, change the first box div's heading to card 1 and the third div's heading to card 3. This is the only HTML code we need for this animation. Now, let's move on to the CSS. First, we'll create the basic CSS boilerplate. We'll set the margin and padding to 0 to remove any default spacing around elements. The box sizing will be set to border box, which makes it easier to manage layouts by including padding and borders within the element's total width and height. Lastly, we'll set the font family to sans serif for a clean and modern look. Next, let's add styling to the HTML and body elements. Set the width to 100% and the height to 100%, ensuring that they take up the full viewport. Then, set the background color to hash 000 for a solid black background. After that, let's add style to the container div. Set its width to 100%, height to 100vh to make it take up the full viewport height. Use display, flex to arrange the child elements in a flexible layout. Set justify content to center to align the items horizontally at the center, and align items to center to align them vertically at the center. Finally, add a gap of 2 rem between the items. Open the browser. By default, the text color is black, so you might not see anything on the page. However, all the text is aligned side by side as expected, due to the flexbox layout. Next, let's add style to the box div. Set its position to relative, this allows us to position elements inside the box relative to it. Set width to 18 rem, and height to 25 rem. Add a 2 pixel solid white border to give the box a clear outline, and set the border radius to 20 pixel for rounded corners. Using display, Flex allows the content inside the box to be arranged in a flexible layout, while a line item center ensures that the content is vertically centered. The 2 rem of padding adds space inside the box. Setting the text color to white ensures the text is visible against the black background. Finally, overflow, hidden ensures that if the content exceeds the box's dimensions, it won't spill out, maintaining a neat layout. Now, open the browser, and you should see three cards clearly displayed, each with a white borders and rounded corners. Next, let's add style to the h2 tag. Set its font size to 1.9 rem for a slightly larger heading, align the text to the center for a balanced look, and set the font weight to 500 for a medium bold appearance. Lastly, add a margin bottom of 1 rem to create space between the heading and the content below. Open the browser, and you should see that the heading style has been updated. Now, let's add style to the p tag. Set the text align property to justify, which will align the text evenly across the width of the box, creating a clean, organized look. Next, let's add style to the second box div using the dot container dot box nth child, 2, selector. Set its border to 2 pixel solid yellow. Set its color to yellow to make the text inside the second box match the yellow border, creating a consistent visual style. Now, let's add style to the span tag. Set its position to absolute, which allows it to be positioned relative to its nearest positioned ancestor. Use display block to make the span behave as a block level element. Set the width and height to zero to make it initially invisible. Apply a border radius of 50% to make it circular. Set the background to white to give it a solid color, and add a transition of 0.3 second for smooth changes when its properties are modified. Open the browser, and you should notice that nothing has changed yet. Next, let's add style to the span tag when the box is hovered. 
set its width and height to 300 pixel to make it expand into a visible circle when the user hovers over the box. Now, open the browser and hover over any card. You should see a white circular shape appear, as the span tag expands to 300 pixel in width and height on hover. Next, let's add style to the second box's span. Select the second box's span using the dot box nth child, 2, span selector. Set its background to yellow, this will set the second box span color yellow, instead of white. Now, we need to add the transform property to the span tag. Set transform, translate, minus 50%, minus 50%, to corner the span tag perfectly within the box. Next, add mix blend mode, difference to the span tag. This will create an effect where the circle's color will blend with the background in a way that inverses the colors, creating a striking contrast when hovering over the box. This is the only CSS code we need for this animation. Now, let's move on to JavaScript. First, add document.querySelectorAll.box. This will select all the box elements inside the container, allowing us to target and manipulate them with JavaScript. After that, add for each to loop through each box. Inside the loop, write a function with the parameter box to target each individual box element. Then, add box.addEventListener. Inside it, use the mouse move event to track mouse movement over each box. Create a function with the parameter E to handle the mouse move event and get the mouse position. Inside the function, create a variable x and set its value to e.pageX minus box.offset left. This calculates the horizontal mouse position relative to the box by subtracting the box's left offset from the mouse's pageX position. Similarly create a variable name y for vertical direction mouse position. Next, select all the span tags using document.querySelectorAll, span. Then, add for each to loop through each span tag. Inside the loop, create a function with the parameter ELE to target each span element. Inside the function, write ELE.style.left equals X plus PX to set the horizontal position of the span tag based on the mouse's horizontal position. Then, copy and paste this line, and change left to top, and X to Y to set the vertical position of the span tag based on the mouse's vertical position. Now, open the browser and hover over any card. You should see a circular spotlight within the card, and it will move along with the mouse pointer, following the mouse's position inside the box, creating a beautiful hover effect. If you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to stay updated with all our latest content. Your support helps us create more exciting and valuable videos. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode of DevWave Diaries.